because I need you to write something down because this is what is going to help us throughout our lifetime. Amen. I think after 21 years of marriage, I should be able to share some experience and to tell you something. Praise the Lord. Remember tonight, we are talking about Christian marriage. The people of the world, they have the way they do their own marriages. They, they have their own system. But we are talking about Christian marriage. According to the Bible. Praise God. And I want to let you know, if you are already married here, there's something that we'll be discussing. Don't be discouraged. This is not to put you down. Nobody is talking about anybody. Praise God. Amen. So one or two things we shall be discussing, maybe in the past, you made a mistake or something. Bible said in the time of ignorance, God overlooked. So now that you are a child of God, and that's why as a believer, we pray about our foundation. Amen. Amen. But what I'm going to say tonight you are going to gain a lot, and those people will be more privileged if you have not yet married. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want you to know this fact, that it's not the matter of getting married, but it is the matter of staying in the marriage. So you have to have it in mind that as you get married, you have to stay in the marriage. That means whatever you see in the marriage, you have to take it. Amen. True marriage is the marriage that is very biblical, that is from the word of God. Many people prepare for wedding, but few prepare for marriage. Get that fact. Because you can have months continue preparing. But marriage is for everlasting. Hallelujah. And another thing I want you to know, that marriage is all about taking nonsense. Have you heard that one before? Okay. So you should have it in mind that it's all about taking what? Nonsense. So if you are the type that you cannot take any nonsense, I cannot take this one, you better pray hard before you get into marriage. Because you are married as an adult. Amen? Amen? And you have the way you do your things. Now you are going to get married to somebody. You are going to live together. And uh, you got to take instruction. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen? So when we get there, we shall be explaining that. And in marriage... In Bible marriage, it is a man that finds a wife, not a woman. All those facts, you should get them at the back of your mind. Amen? Amen. If you're a woman, all you need 
is your job to pray and relax. So it's a man that will come to find you. God has given that duty to a man to find. Amen? And when he's as fine and true, he's the one to talk, to open his mouth and talk. So it is not in your duty to go to the man. No matter how you see the revelation, see him a hundred times in a dream. Just hold your peace. Amen? Amen? If the man that man is for you, he will come and do what? Speak. So you don't have rights to go to any man and say, I think God is leading me to you. <laughs> it's anti-Bible. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So that is just a starting point. So just get all those facts in your mind. Now, our test for those things that we are going to discuss today is from the book of Genesis. And we are going to start from there. It's from the book of Genesis. I want to see about 10 or 11 biblical marriage principle. So many people have been asking a question. Who, who do you have married? Who? So from this discussion today, you will know who and who to marry and who and who not to marry. Because as a believer, I'm talking about a believer, believer marriage. Amen? When we talk about the people of the world, maybe their own believer, they have the way they do their own marriage. But now we are talking about the Christian marriage, born again marriage. Hallelujah. In the book of uh, Genesis, when God, when Abraham talked to his servant and said, Go to my country. Okay, let me read from verse 2. Genesis 24, from verse 2. And Abraham said to his servant, the oldest of his household, who has charge of all that he had, put your hand under my tie, that I may make you swear by the law, for God of heaven and God of heart, that you will not take a wife for my son from the daughter of Canaanite, among whom I dwell, but you will go to my country and to my kidry and take wife for my son Isaac. Okay, let's stop from one to four for now. You see, when Abraham is sending his servant to his country to get a wife for his son, he's not talking about tribalism there. He's not saying, maybe if I want to marry now, I will go to my country and go and get a wife. I must go to my tribe and go and get a wife. That's not what Abraham met here. Why he's sending his servant is because where Abraham was living in Canaan at that time, there are hidden nation, that the people that don't know God, that the people that worship idols, praise God. And God has already warned them not to marry. It's a marriage with those kind of people. It's just in our day, when you're a believer, going to get married to a non-believer. So that's why he said, no. God, I want that we should not marry from this nation. So go and get a wife from over there. So that's what it means. It's not talking about tribe there. So if you want to marry, you have to be neutral. Praise God. You have to be neutral. You have to open your heart. So now when you say, go and get me a wife there, because this area I'm living, they're full of idols worship. So my, my son cannot marry from there. So number one truth is you know, that I put in number one, location. The location of where you pick a wife is very, very important. And when I talk about location, I talk about spiritual location. Spiritual location where you take a wife or take a husband will show the foundation of your marriage. The question now is that Maybe you are engaged here. 
or you're about to marry, where did you get your wife from? Which location? Because we know so many things are happening today. If you get your wife or your husband from a club, it's a wrong location. That is a faulty foundation already. Because in a club, God is not there. So many things that is not the order of the day, now where people get wife, is Facebook. Facebook marriage. That is what is happening these days now. Praise the Lord. But getting married through Facebook is a wrong location as a child of God. Because you are getting married to a stranger. To somebody you just see. And from there, it starts shouting. From there, marriage starts. Praise the Lord. So the location of where you get a wife, it is very, very important. It will determine how your marriage will succeed. Because marriage has its own face also. So that time when you are praying, huh, you will know what to pray. Ah, this man, this woman, God, I find this man, this woman in your house. Praise the Lord. But if you find the man or the woman in the club, what will you tell God? Or you find him in the Facebook? Praise the Lord. A believer, a born again child of God, doesn't find a wife or husband in the Facebook. Praise God. So you find your wife in a spiritual entity. Now you may ask me a question. Okay, if I'm to find my wife in the church, does it mean it's only in the church where I worship I can find you, my wife? Where? The answer may be no. You may find your wife in other churches that are spiritual churches also. Praise the Lord. You can find your wife there. But the question is that after finding your wife, whether in the church or another place, because I've heard a lot of things, ah, who is this one? Ah, it's a Christian. He worships such a place. Okay, the question to ask, where does he worship? Where does that man worship? Who is a pastor or his pastor? That is what people don't know. They do what the people don't want these days. The man that you want to marry, where do you worship? The man, the wife you want to marry, where is that lady? Where is he worshiping? And if he just tell you, you know the most popular things in Dubai, since I've come, if you just ask them, where do you worship? I, I used to pray for that church. Everybody, where you are, I worship in kings. Have you heard it? Kings. I worship in kings. That church kings. I used to pray for that church. Everybody worship. You know, you know the church I'm talking about? Where does he worship? If you don't mention any name of the church, now, where, who is your pastor? Because if you worship in a church, you must have a pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is your spiritual father? Do you know the spiritual father or the church or that man or that lady that you're about to marry? Forget about maybe if you don't meet him in Facebook, if you don't meet your husband, the, maybe the man in the club. Okay, maybe you, you met in the headcraft. At least you meet him anyhow. So many marriages are taking place in, in headcraft. You don't know. Praise the Lord. Or you met in Metro. <laughs> okay, fine. At least you meet somewhere. So the problem, the question now is that where do you worship? Where is your church? And if you have a church, who is your pastor? 
That's why we said when people are engaged, you want to know about it, but some people run away because they know that those are the questions. If the lady is not from this church or the man is not of this church, we ask, where is your church? Where do you worship? Who is your pastor? If you mention somebody, okay, can you give me the number? Because I, I, we are the pastor of this person. We want to talk to your pastor. I've seen some men, some people that some of our sisters are very serious brought. And when we have such a question, they run away. You don't see them against. You tell the sister they last. If the person has a church, you must have a pastor. Praise the Lord. You are a member of this church. Do you have a pastor? Uh huh. Praise God. So those are the number one location is very important. So the number two. Please, as I'm talking, if you have a question, write it down. Because we want the ma a believer marriage to succeed. Your marriage should not be a body. Your marriage should not be a head on heart. You should be a heaven on heart if you do the proper thing. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Now, after you have shown the location, the next thing is prayer. If you see from where we read, in verse 12 or 24 where we read, the verse 12 says, And he said, O oh Lord, God of my, my, my master Abraham, please grant me success today and show steadfast love to my father, to my master Abraham. Behold, I stand by the spring of water and the daughter of men you can read it further. You see, the man prayed. He prayed that the daughter that will come and fetch the water, Adesoya is from a kingship. That is the area I come from. They are in a, in a kingship something. So we so much love the name, and the name was very popular. If you get to my, country, uh, my hometown in Kurudu and say you are looking for this one, it's a, it's a very popular Disney. So I'm very, very keen to the name I want to change to. I said, what's the, okay, Namka, okay, what's the meaning? I want to know the meaning of those things. No, I don't know what people discuss when they say they are dating. Is it dating they are calling it? Or they are in courtship or what, whatever. What you discuss, I, me, I don't understand. Me, I ask questions. People will just keep quiet, be looking at the man. The man will do all the talking. You fold your hand so that they will know that you are a gentle lady. You are only God's feet. Huh? No question, no talking, nothing, nothing. The man will do all the talking, do all the arrangement, do everything. You don't know the son name of the man, the meaning, the anything, you don't know. I ask, you have to tell me the meaning. So that we start from there, whether to change it or not. Because I'm not ready to answer Mrs. something else. Mm -mm. I must know the meaning. Because I'll be taught how to know the meaning of name. Because it's very important. He told me the meaning. I said, okay, that one is good. I can be Mrs. That. Okay, that's why it's okay. Praise the Lord. Your parents, a house, how your parents, your mother, and everybody. He told me the mother, when she was small, I said, yeah, sorry. That's why God is bringing me to be a mother to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So observation is very important. You have to ask a question. I know that. Now, the most important one, when you already pray and you have done everything, you see, if a man, somebody just call you and say, 
Hi, sister. How are you? I just want to check on you. Has he proposed to you? Is that one a proposal? Nobody is answer. Okay. If a man, a brother just call you and say, Hi, sister. I just want to check on you. How are you? Are you feeling fine? This and that. That's one. Has he proposed marriage? Okay. Uh, like today, I want to celebrate birthday. Your birthday. You just wrap the gift. I said, sister, I just want to give you this gift. I just want to say happy birthday. I give you this gift. Have you proposed marriage? Thank you. So you write the way I used to write. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. As the man proposed marriage, this one, let, if, don't let this one we stop. Let everybody just listen. Amen? Somebody can just like you, praise God. Just want to give you something. It's your sister. We used to say we should show love in the church. We should open our eyes. Somebody that is in need. Somebody you can help. So far, somebody just call you, somebody give you something, this and that, and somebody very close to you, and you just conclude, ah, mama, if you see the way that man used to laugh, when he see me, he's laughing. I know you have something in mind. It's a lie. <laughs> so far, that man has not opened the mouth, and you don't propose to a lady through WhatsApp. Any man that is proposing a lady to do what is a coward, you are not bold enough. That's message. I just want to say I love you. Say it with your mouth. Praise the Lord. And lady, don't be carrying away for somebody to be dancing around you. You just concluded that maybe he's interested in you. Let him talk, my friend. When this man gave even Rebecca. When he put gold on his, uh, uh, give him gold, put the ring on his nose, this and that, Rebecca took them. But so far that you have not proposed, you have not said anything. There is no marriage there. Until he came to the house and, and said something. Let the, let the man say something. It's not the action, it's not dancing around. He must open his mouth and say, Sister, I love you, I want to marry you. He doesn't know what to say. Uh-uh. <laughs> ah. It's not by dancing around. So don't let any man put pressure on you. And you man, if you know you are not interested in the lady, stop dancing around that lady. Stop dancing every time. I just want to say hi. I just want to say I love you. You see the only one you be sending, and you are not talking. If you have been sending such a message, you must open your mouth and talk. Go and tell that lady, I love you, I want to marry you. Because you are putting her in suspect. I've seen some lady every time, uh, mama, this brother every time, she will do this, she will do that one. I said, forget him, so far you are not talking. Don't let him put pressure on you. Praise the Lord. So let us learn. And to pray for marriage, you cannot pray for the whole year. If you are praying for marriage, you are praying for the whole year. Somebody will take what belongs to you. <laughs> I'm talking to you from experience. When my husband said you receive a conviction that at that lady, God say it's my wife. He was still praying, trying to. He talked to some brother there and said, this lady, God is living. Those ones, they told you, they are very spiritual. That's why it's good to move with the spiritual people. Praise the Lord. Amen. They said, hey, that sister, go very fast to pastor. Go and tell pastor now. If he delay and say, maybe you are going next week. Hey, so sin, another person. Ah, thank God he obeyed their force and run very fast. Amen. And that day he went to meet pastor. Pastor was even the half pastor or something meeting that time. So you have to wait for the whole day. 
Uh -uh. You want to get something, get something very precious, something very important. You waited. Praise the Lord. So, that is the something. So wait for the man to propose to you. And when the man has talked, it's not me. You can't tell me and ask mama, uh, that person, you see the will of God. Praise God. I can only help you to pray. Eh? To decide and say yes or no. Depend on you. I only give you advice. What I know. Remember, it is Rebecca that say, will you go with this man? He said, I will go. That is her decision, her confession. She was convinced with her heart that she will go with the man. This is the will of God for my life. Praise the Lord. So it's not your friend that will decide for you. It's not your mother. It's very pity these days. Now, it's the mother's parents that now find the wife for people. Praise the Lord. Whether the wife, whether it's from right location, whether it's a uh, DC, so far it's from my mother, Kalas. Amen. Remember my father too did the same thing. And my father is a Muslim. It's an allergy. My, mo my mother is a Muslim. They said they find a man. He just came back from a uh, abroad and you want to marry and they know my stand they know that I'm a child of God praise God and I told them that okay that one is late now I'm bringing a man already I already, I already have a man already that wants to marry me so why are you bringing because your parents you have to talk to them with wisdom hallelujah are you bringing somebody where you know I'm a Christian? God already give me somebody in the church and I'm bringing that person. Praise the Lord. And at that time I was talking, there is nobody. Nobody has come. And I told her I'm bringing somebody. And I brought somebody. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I don't need to argue. I don't need to fight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. May God help us in Jesus' name. Are we getting something? Some people say they have a, a question. And after the, the man asks, where is your parents? Hallelujah. He has the lady, where, are you, where is your parents? And he follow to the parents. If you are marrying a lady and you don't know the parents, you are still, you know, you are not hearing. Ladies, is any man that is engaged to you or you already read, married that man? And that man doesn't know your parents. You must know the parents of the lady. Hallelujah. And when some people are running away to know the parents of the lady, it's because they don't want to pay. You have married any wife that you have not paid anything. You are stealing. You stole somebody's child. And God is not happy with you. Gather yourself together and go and pay. Hallelujah. He said, where are your parents? And when you talk about the parents here, as a believer, no, you have two parents. Your spiritual parents first. It's very pity today that people are getting married and their spiritual parents don't know anything about it. You just see in the first place, somebody has I said, I'm married. I just go home, I'm married. Finish. How? When? Hallelujah. Your spiritual parents must know about your marriage. Then your parents must know. Your parents must know. Amen. He followed to the parents. And when he followed, the Bible said, read it. He paid dowry. How did they call it in Kenya? Mahari. 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 Okay. Have you paid Mahari? Those ones that have married. You must pay. It is very important. 
He paid. The Bible says he gave the parents precious things. And he gave to the mother. Hallelujah. Lady, when the man just comes, whether it's the will of God, you love the man. Don't start dancing around. All your body will start shaking. Everything will start. It's for life. It's everlasting. Praise the Lord. Let your parents get that honor. Whether they are unbeliever or not, they are your parents. Amen. They have the rights. And when the man decided to go to your parents, your parents should not kill them. <laughs> Hallelujah. They should not kill them with lease. Right, right, two, one list food, second list food. Like people from my husband's side, hey, hey, <laughs> James, them, get ready. <laughs> because you pay all the school you have gone, everything, all are, are waiting. Praise the Lord. Pay something, pay the dowry. And finally, you must receive your parents' blessing. Oh, what a joy. What a joy for your parents to pray for you. The prayer of my parents, they are working in my life till tomorrow. Whether they are Muslim, whether they are anything. Because I give them that honor. In my father compound that very day. The Christian we are singing on our own. You call it all these uh, monks people. All of, if you watch my traditional way, you laugh. You say, ah, is he my pastor? Is he Muslim marriage or waiting? But that is their own time. I, I cannot go and do it in another place. It's my father's house. Let them sing anything. No problem. We let them, they pray. It's an honor to them. Hallelujah. Receive your parents' blessing. And after they are praying for you, your spiritual parent blessing is very important. You go there and marry, you come back, your spiritual parent must bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says after the whole thing, he brought Rebecca to his house and he was comforted. Hallelujah. Amen. That is a biblical marriage. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So next time, we are going to be talking about another topic. Hmm? Amen. I will not tell you the topic, but it's very, very important topic. We are going to be talking about it. Hallelujah. Amen. During the Super Friday. Marriage is very, very important. I'm telling you the truth is because I'm enjoying my marriage. That's why you see me looking younger than my age. Amen. Hallelujah. Because there is no stress. There is no, and I want that type of marriage in your life. And as you do it in the will of God, the Lord will bless you. And the Lord will continue to bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I say, give me to drink and feed my camel. Let it be the one you have chosen. So prayer is very, very important. Ladies, after you have prayed, and maybe the man has prayed, and come approach you, that doesn't mean you should not pray. The moment you just stop, bam, you just say yes. You, just, you still need to pray. Praise the Lord. Doesn't mean that you have found a man in the right location, he's a child of God, and he just come, and you don't pray. Not everyone that is from the right location that is the right man for you. Praise God. Uh, I was told that before I married, I was a very, very strict person, and very, that I don't laugh. I used to frank a lot. And in those days, some of our age, group in the chair, they say, this is your face that you don't marry, you don't laugh. <laughs> to get a man will be very, you know, they used to say it that time. And I'm the type that don't fake things. Praise the Lord. So I used to tell them that the man that loved that face, he will survey, he will come. 
He will surely love that face. Praise God. Because I happen to grow up in a prayer warrior and we frack at the devil. We don't take nonsense. Praise God. And because of that, no nonsense man can just dance around me. It's not possible. You cannot just see me and say, can I take you to Mr. Biggs? That's what we have in Nigeria. I will ask you, Mr. Biggs for what? On what ground? Lady, listen to me. Somebody I've not talked to you. Somebody I've not said something. But every time he calls you, can we go to Madonna? You dress quick, quick. <laughs> and follow. Okay. Another time he tell you, can we go to what are the names? Chicken burger. What, what they call them? But I don't go to all those places. Praise the Lord. So all those, and you know, <clears throat> when, the, when you are following somebody like that, and maybe somebody else has something in mind for you, you will just conclude and say, maybe she has something, something with this one. And that person, I've never said anything. In my own time, if you tell me about social, I will tell you for what? Am I going out for you with you to do what? So those are the one of the things they say. Ah, oh, that lady is very, very, very strict. Praise the Lord. So prayer is very important. Pray, and if you know that you are not sure, seek somebody in prayer. Talk to somebody. You have so many sisters. You see that sister and I was talking. He was mentioned some of our sister. Seek them. Say, can you pray along with me? Hallelujah. Amen. And the God will surely lead you. You remember this man pray and God heard his prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember when I talk about prayer, it's both the lady and the man. Amen. Amen. So in those days, me, I was not worried because I prayed. I said, God, I'll be working for you in the kingdom. I gave my life to cry when I was a teenager. I was in the church when I grew up to be a youth. Praise God. Amen. And I got married. So when it's time, I want to just pray. I leave the rest for God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So it's just very simple as that. Just pray and continue the work of God and God will locate you. Hallelujah. Amen. The next thing you should watch out as a man, as a lady, is character. Character is very, very important. When our test, if you read from 16 to 21, remember this man, I've never met this lady before. He just prayed a simple prayer and said, the lady that I will say, give me water. And after giving me, I said, okay, I need water for all this, my flock, to feed them. Let it be the one. Just imagine, if you read this text, Rebecca was a very beautiful lady. Amen. Coming to fresh water in the day, and a man, a stranger that I never knew from everywhere, just said, give me water. And after giving me what, giving him water, I said, I wanted to feed all my flock. Hallelujah. Ladies, I want to tell you that the character is very, very, very important. It's not about beauty. It's not about dressing. Those ones are very good. But a man of destiny, a man that wants to make heaven, a man that wants to serve God, is looking for inner character. Beauty of the heart. Praise the Lord. I'm just imagine if it is these days that you see a lady with an elderly person, you just say, say hi, hi. So many characters these days, I have to tell you the truth. Amen. 
You see? Hi, Mama. I'm washing. Let me be coming and carry back, carry some load. You know, we used to carry some uh, this thing. You just see something. Hi, Mama. Hi. Praise the Lord. I don't need to say, hey, it's at times when I just love you, I'll drag you. Say, hey, come here, carry this bag and this one. Go and put it there. Praise the Lord. Character is very important. People are watching. Though you're beautiful, though you dress well, you're okay, fine. But somebody is watching your character. Praise the Lord. So the way you talk, the way you do things, the way you are treating to come in the church, tom, 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 tom. I used to sit down in the front, I wash. If, it, if I can see you, somebody else is washing, see you. Dancing, dancing. Praise the Lord. I'm not talking to only the lady, it's for, for men. That lady is washing. Your character, the way you are behaving. The way you football your hairstyle, he's washing it. You are not a footballer. You cut this one, you cut this one, you, you do it like this. He's washing. The way you dress to church, he's washing. Those men that put their trousers like this, those ones are not in this church. They call it sagi, I mean, what they call it. Uh -huh. Wear something and put the trusser this way. Those ones are not in this church. Because those ones, they can never find any of my daughter to marry. Mm -mm. Praise the Lord. Karata. Look at that lady. Give me water to drink. Ah, you just put the jar down. Give the man the water. Okay, can you help me to flog my... How many ladies these days? Praise the Lord. And it's very good, very important. At times, in those days when my husband is still maybe walking, I just want to go around, not to say, I, I went to metro, this and that. And at times when the metro is full, you know, you just stand. I'm surprised so many times. And this one, they are not even black, they are Indian or, or so. They will just stand up and say, ah, Madam, come and sit down. I, I used to be very surprised because at the time I wear gown, I said, ah, Do I look like Madam? Because I felt. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's those. You, I, I've seen all those old women, the way they wear their this. I don't look like that. I don't look like that. Huh? So, but I'm surprised when somebody just. Madam, come and sit down. I don't look my dad. You talk, you say yes. I say, God bless you. And these are not blacks. There are times you will see, you may be an idiot, you may be somebody, but very old. He stand is shaking like this. You just sit down. Your own. Character is very important. In those days, people that want to get married, they look at the character of people. Let us have the kind of Rebecca character. Praise the Lord. Amen. A stranger that I never knew before. Hallelujah. Amen. So we pray that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Character in holiness. The way you dress is very, very, very important. Especially ladies. If you have not married, dress very well. Amen. Make your hair very simple. For God's sake, the way I made this my hair, is it not simple enough? People must talk now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. No, let's be frank to ourselves. Let's say the truth. It's not good. Uh, even before I have checked myself in the mirror. I've had my husband to check. I know it's good. It's nice. It's okay. 
If I sit now, I'm not covering anybody. Hallelujah. Make everything moderate. Uh -uh. Anybody that wants to marry my son will, will pray hard though. Pray hard. <laughs> After check is spiritual, physical too is very important. <laughs> Praise God. May God help us in Jesus' name. In holiness, and it was very hard working. Because it's taken a very hard working lady to do what the Rebecca did. Do you know how many came he, 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 he gave water to? All the comedy fed them. Very hard working. Hallelujah. Amen. These days, we should be very, very hard working. But I know that few ladies that I've known in this church, they are very, very hard working. Amen. Amen. I knew when I was in Akus, I used to have meeting with them. When they come, I already put the chicken from the visa, I put it outside. When they finish, I say, cook. I want to eat. Praise the Lord. They don't know what I'm testing. I'm testing something. Praise God. The man, you are not the one to test. Because this day, they say, man, they are good in testing. Not yet. Praise the Lord. You want to test how you know how to cook? You want to test how to know that? You want to test how to know? No. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And surprisingly, they can cook wonderfully. That's why I used to pray for our men every time. Say, God, open the eyes of men in this church. Their eyes must be open. Amen. To see. That where they are going to Shokoto to see is inside the Shokoto. You see? Fair very, very close to them, but they are traveling fast for something that is very close. Praise the Lord. And the life of Rebecca is very good in service. You can see the way he was serving very cheerfully. Amen? Watch out. Somebody should help me to be looking at the time because... We have so many of them. We cannot finish today. Maybe next time we finish. Hallelujah. Very hard working. Uh, good in service. Another thing is that the lady or the man is seen in any service of the Lord. What is he doing for the Lord? Because you must have something you are doing for the Lord. Hallelujah. When my husband met me in the chair, he did not miss me I do. I mean, I can never marry an I do man. Mm -mm. <laughs> Somebody that is an I do, he didn't do anything, sure? nothing that he's doing. And you want to come and marry me, that I love service, I love doing the work of God. Definitely, such a man will put me down. Praise the Lord. I saw that he was doing something for the Lord. So you must do something for God. Which service is he doing? You may say, because of my work, I you know in Dubai. Dubai work. Ah, may God have mercy. They can attach everything to work. My job. Okay. Your job, you cannot join the activities, you cannot join this one, you cannot join that one. Because of your job. Okay, fine. Join the kingdom builder. That's why one doesn't need to gather for praise team. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, you can join something. Join the kingdom builder. Join to finance. You can join that. You are doing something for God. You want to marry the wife? No service. The husband? No service. Service is very important. If you want to marry or you are planning to marry, start serving now. Praise the Lord. Amen? 
It is very important to serve in the house of the Lord. Another thing is observation. You must open your eyes of observation. The person that you want to marry. Hallelujah. I remember when my husband came, the first thing when I, when he already prayed, do everything, and I have now accepted, yeah? So, the first thing I asked, I said, what is your son's name? You say, Unamka. I say, hey, Unamka. <laughs> because my son's name is Adesoya. Thank you.